Okay, I think I just fabbed up a quick and dirty stand for this thing. Let's see what happens. So that's the basic angle. Should it go down more? What's it? What's in the middle of the screen? All right, that's the middle of the bench right there, but the camera's kind of far away from it. I don't know. I mean, it's like I could make the thing. Get my finger out of the way. You make the thing pitch down more, and then do all of my work like here, and you'd be closer. Or can I move it down some? this look like? It looks like you can barely even see the bench. Yeah, alright. We'll try this for a while. This kind of thing. Okay, the, the blue tape is more or less the center of the bench. So, yeah. From there, you should be able to see more or less everything that I'm doing right in, right here, or even here would probably be better. So let's see, let's try this for a while. So, right, got a piece of wood, got something and something, and we go like this. I have two hands, and I can actually demonstrate now. For those of you who are actually looking for some actual live demonstrations, there you go. Did the camera catch that? Probably not good. Yeah, we need more close-up. What if we put it all the way down on the bench? Yeah, that's a little too close-up. Yeah, we need something about halfway in between. Something more about like that. Um. All right. What do you think about it? Find something to set it up on. Wait a sec. What about this thing? What if we did something like this? Does that look pretty good? Right, so that's one end. And for the other end. Just like that, that's all it takes. Yeah, back when I was in an electronic shop, They give you wire strippers, but you know how it is. It's like you get the wrong size and you end up cutting your your wire or you get too big a size and then you get like the plastic stretches, but it doesn't cut and actually strip and they can be annoying. And uh, especially if you, if you know, the wire that you happen to have requires something in between two sizes on your wire strippers. And so then, back in the electronic shop, back in the day, we often resort to like stripping it using your teeth because you can, you know, because you can bite through insulation and then pull the stuff off. And if you're lazy, but yeah, but then those of us who you could you could smoke cigarettes back then at a young age, and so those of us who who consumed tobacco and that kind of thing um, and had lighters, we use this trick because, you know, people wouldn't question you for carrying a lighter in high school at that point in time. So, yeah, and this is, it's a really nice, clean, slick way to 
Is the camera picking this stuff up? Yeah, it's a really nice, clean, slick way to, um, to strip wires, so. I think the camera needs to be even closer to the action. Let me put it on something lower.